Hey everyone, it's Mark here from cloudbike.co.uk. I'm here with an app review for you. It's Night Stand Central. It's available in the App Store for $1.99, or you can get a free version as well, which is ad supported. It's a fantastic alarm clock and a weather app as well, built into one. And the idea of this app is to keep it when you're not using your iPad, you could stand your iPad up on perhaps like a bedside table or something and use this app. So, as you can see, here's what the weather looks like when you click it. You just click the main part of the screen and you can see uh, the next three days, what it's currently like, uh, the next day and the day after as well. And just click it to hide it. Uh, it's got a host of features this app has and uh, I'm going to show you them all right now. So firstly, alarms. It's obviously a fantastic alarm clock and we can uh, ooh, just slip there, uh, show you an alarm. So you can set the name of your alarm. So I'm going to put in, uh, let's put in wake up, and uh, we can set the time using uh, this uh, little scroller here. So set the time for what time we want to wake up, there we go, 7.30am. You can also select the sounds, and there's a lot of sounds built in. This is birds, brown noise, I'm not too sure what that's meant to be, flowing water. You've got lots of different sounds built into this app, which is great. Waves, um, rain as well, if you want something. Or if you need something a bit more to wake you up, if you're a heavy sleeper, use Air Raid. That's quite a funny one. Uh, if you're a little bit of a, a nerd or something, and you prefer the dial-up mode. And, oh God, I remember them so well. Um, you can use that, or an old-fashioned ring. And then you've got something really cool like the synth. You can also add your own sounds from your music library. I haven't got any uh, songs on here at the moment, but you can do that, which is great as well. And you can shuffle them songs also. There's also uh, built into this a, a snooze feature. Okay, so you can uh, set how long you want to be allowed to snooze and progressive, so it can get longer uh, and shorter when you want to. Uh, and also, if you need to get up perhaps uh, every weekday at 7.30, you can do by clicking uh, which days that you want it to uh, to work on. There we go. So every every uh, weekday, this will now wake me up at 7.30. And you can fade in the sound as well so it can get gradually louder. Okay, so that's the alarm feature. Uh, really uh, great feature there built into the app. Also, there's Lullaby. Now, what this does is you can set how long you, you want a sound to play for. So you can set this for some music or, or some background noise. If you need something to help you go to sleep, this is great for that. So as you can see, I've now set it for waves. And you could uh, turn that down and up if you wanted, or you could set some music if you wanted to perhaps put an album on, uh, let you drift off to sleep, and after 30 minutes it will just turn off or even fade out. You can also set the weather, whether the weather settings, set the location, as you can see there, uh, and the settings when you want it to update every 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and uh, your location. Also, you've got auto lock. What this does is uh, after five minutes, of course, the iPad will auto lock to save your battery. However, when you're charging, I recommend that you put it on never, and that way that you'll always see this on the screen, but only when you're charging, because otherwise, really, you could put it on never when you're on battery, but be prepared, this will drain your battery a bit because of the, the screens on all the time. But as a nightstand, uh, which is the, the idea for it, it's fantastic. Okay, so uh, there's lots more uh, settings coming up. Okay, firstly is the background. As you can see at the moment, there is a uh, a sea uh, and sky. It looks really nice. But you can set whatever pictures you want. There's a lot built in as well. Um, or you can pick some from your own library. Again, I haven't got any at the moment, but if you've got some, feel free to set them. And there you go. You can just see that it's uh, just changed there, and you can set how often you want it to change as well so five seconds or just every day if you want a different picture every day that you wake up or something you can do I've set it to five seconds so you can see it fading through but let's just slow that down a little bit to 15 minutes there we go also this big thing here that you see uh, where the clock on and the weather that's called the widget and you can set a lot more settings for that the size of it uh, is the main settings so if we just click that there you go so at the moment it's on pretty large, it fills the iPad screen, there we go, and you can make it really small as well, and you can adjust which position you want it in, so if you want to see a bit more of your photograph, and you want a smaller clock, you perhaps put it in the, the top left, top right or something, a little smaller right at the in the centre at the top, or 
wherever you feel like, uh, you can do so. It gives you complete control over that widget. Also, you can see we can set 24 hour time or 12 hour time, whichever one you prefer. You can also hide the setting seconds. As you can see, the seconds have disappeared there and now they're back. And we can tell it to show us when the, uh, the next alarm is uh, going to be coming on. You can have multiple alarms as well in this, which I forgot to mention before. Now this is uh, one of the really cool features, is the gestures. So what you can do with this is you can slide the brightness up and down just by moving your finger up and down the screen. There we go. So as I uh, drag down, the, there we go, it's working now. As I drag up and down the screen, you can see the brightness is changing. So at night time, when you want it uh, less bright, if you have it on the lowest brightness, by the way, you can still really clearly see that. You might not be able to now if you get your iPad out and have a look and put it right down, but at night time, you, you can. So you can just drag it up and down, which is really nice uh, little feature there. Save you getting into deep into the settings to do that. Also, if your alarm's going off, you can shake the device. If you're annoyed with it, oh, go away, go away. You can just shake it and it will go into the snooze feature for you, which is fantastic as well. There's also another shake shake the device. If the alarm isn't going off, you can shake it like I have done now. And it goes bright white to give you like a flashlight feature. So if you can't see it and you need to get up at night or something, just shake it. And shake it off and you're back at the main screen like this. So yeah, this is Nightstand Central and I give it a fantastic 4 out of 5 cloud. You can get it now on the App Store, make sure you do. And until next time guys, have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.